All right, Shalom. Uh, first off, we're going to say our praise to you, how about Shalom, our shout of double honor to the elders that rule well, the apostles, and peace and blessings to you, brothers out there that's kicking this word and truth and sincerity. Uh, we just want to come with a quick lesson, man. It's an uh, um, open form, but really we'll be talking about uh, just the power of what we're doing, man, out here in the highways and the byways and on the internet, man. We're, we're casting down strongholds, man. We are the voice of the most high, man. You know? And it's, you know, it's important for brothers to understand the depth of what we're doing, man. Because we're fighting a, a, a spiritual war right now, man. You know? And with it understanding that, man, you know, it's important for us to build ourselves up and not be black and day school in, in our works, man. And because the most high is, is utilizing us to uplift his word, man. And that's nothing to play around with. Huh? Let's get that in Psalm 94, brother. Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? That's right. So the Mosai is asking a rhetorical question there. Because he already has who he bought. He, he picked. Mm -hmm. Mosai willing will stay in his thing, man. We'll, we'll part of the elect or the 144. You know? Because he's going to use those people, man. The, be set up as watchmen, like they talk about in Ezekiel. You know, what are we watching, man? We're reporting. We're reporting and, and we're prophesying against uh, great countries, man. That's what we're doing. You know, we're setting up a, a standard, which is these scriptures, man, for our people. You know, which is very important, man, in these times. You did? Go ahead. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Mm -hmm. Who's going to stand up against the workers of iniquity, man? You know? Right now, we can't physically do it because most of us set it up that way, man. So we're spiritually doing it, man. Mm -hmm. You know? This is a spiritual warfare like, like, like we said previously that we're engaged in now. So brothers have to be more serious and Conducting this uh, the truth, man, and understanding yourself, and bettering yourself, so you can be a, a better soldier. Right. You know, you had something. Uh, pretty simple. You had something. Yes, yeah, pretty simple. Uh, There's a point why we why we out here. Go ahead. Uh, uh, you know, why we do what we doing? This is uh, Acts three. I'm gonna start at verse nineteen. Uh, it says, "Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins be blot blotted out." When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, and he shall send you how shall before was, was preached unto you, whom heaven must receive unto the times of restitution of all things. Mm -hmm. Which restitution, man, restoring of, of, of uh, the kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. Because we look for a new heaven and a new earth. Well, does that mean there's going to be a new heaven, new earth? No, man. It's just a renewal. It's going to be a rest restoration of the law, stations, and commandments that's right. that, 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 that the Most High set up. That's right. Because that's good. we couldn't keep the law. Mm -hmm. So the Lord has to has to, has to set up in his prophecies that all the things are to perform. But in the end, we're going to be able to keep keep the law, stations, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. So he's going to restore it. He's going to restore it. Why? Because we befall all the curses without the law. That's right. But he made a promise through Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that we were going to be in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But when we're in the kingdom, what are we going to be doing? We're going to keep the law. That's right, man. So he's going to, he's going to reestablish the covenant that he, that he gave with our forefathers. That's right, man. And he's using us to let the people know that they need to repent. Particularly the 144. Yeah, but yeah this is uh, just going into what you just said. Mm -hmm. It says, which, which the Most High has spoken. By the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. You see that, yep. man? Since the world began, man, somebody get that with Jeremiah 28, man. Mm -hmm. That goes into perfect with the brother did right That's a beautiful precept, man. He used, he used an all mouth, man, to basically tell the people to repent. Mm -hmm. You know, to turn back to the, to, to the Heavenly Father, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and with that, uh, uh, with Jake repenting, that's going to usher in the kingdom, man. Yep, you know? This is, man, we were in a, a powerful position, man. You know, brothers, brothers can't forget that, man. Yeah. That's true. You can't be too proud to repent, man. You can't be too proud to uh, to stop doing what you're doing. We tell you, we tell you, all you you, you uh, Israelites out there to turn away from what you're doing. 
No, now's the time. You're at the time of grace right now. That's right. And if you don't do that, you're going to be destroyed. Period point blank. Yeah, Isaiah 58. That's right, man. Yeah. That's, and that's why we're so perfect. From, from the apostles all now, man. You know, because we're trying to wake our people up, man. We're not doing this thing with the, to forgive me, kind of even like that. Obviously, that's not happening for GMS. We're doing this thing because, you know what, we, we believe in the scriptures and we want to get out of here, man. And we're trying to wake our people up, galvanize us to the, 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 uh, the massive spirit, man, particularly the 144. Mm -hmm. So we can get the heck up out of here, man. You know? You know, and if anybody doing this thing for anything else, man, you know, the more signs we them out. And we're seeing that now. And we've always seen that. It's, it's nothing new. The epistles seen it, apostles seen it, slack it, and we're seeing it now. You know? The more signs dealing with people that's gonna be sincere. They gonna as, as try to do this uh, as selfishly as possible. You know? No, uh, this is uh, X3, uh, 23. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. That's right, from among the people. What people? Israel, man. That's the whole concept of two thirds, man. You got people out there who are not going to listen and going to be destroyed. You got people out there who know their Israelites going to be destroyed, man. You know? You got people that have been in camps that are going to be destroyed. You know? Uh, now it goes back to not wanting to repeat. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Ezekiel chapter uh, 3, verse 4, verse 5. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech mm -hmm. and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. That's right. You know, we're not sent to anybody or, or, you know, that's foreign to us. You know, uh, to to uh, you know, say for instance, Russia or like Asia or anything like that. Listen to our own people, man. But our people are hard headed, mm -hmm. so they're going to be destroyed, man. Really not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose words thou cannot understand. Surely had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto me, man. So he said, even within that, you're not sent to people that, that that you know you can't uh, relate to. But if I were to send you to them, they will listen. We're dealing with Jake, man. Mm -hmm. Jake, and, and you know, it all goes back to, you know, many factors, but chiefly the so-called white man, our people are hypersensitive, man. And with being hypersensitive, man, it's, it's, it's hard It's hard for a person <coughs> to really listen to somebody correcting them, man. Because it's hypersensitive plus private. You know, that's a hell of a combination, man. And taking on traits of the so-called white man. That's right. Because the so-called white man is hypersensitive and, and, and prideful. So in that slavery, then that, they, then that's how the Lord was able to use those blockers for so, so many people can't get it, man. That's right, man. Because under the rulership of the so-called white man, that vibration has went out to where, where information is made plain right in your face. So where all you got to do is type in the words to get it. And <laughs> these motherfuckers still can't get it. That's right. Yeah, it's prideful, man. That spirit, man, too. And it is actively, it, it, it ultimately goes back to the spirit, like the brother said, man. But he, our people are prideful, man. That's what? why it takes repetition for us, for Jake to wake up. I swear he's read this. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. Because he, okay, he said it won't listen, right? Mm -hmm. It says, verse 7 But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, mm -hmm. but they will not hearken unto me, for all the house of Israel is impudent and hard hearted. That's right, impudent man, without reason, man. Look, man, it's good. I always like to say this, you know, we always like to say this, man. Let's go on the internet and, and type Jacob, man. Fighting. You got women out there uh, 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 trucking for their kids, man. But all types of madness, man. So it's important for us to, 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 to be diligent about our work, man. Mm -hmm. And understanding, man, you can wake somebody up out of that, man. You know, if it's too dirty, it's too dirty. That's you know, it is what it is. But you got people every day that's gonna come back. A lot of people waking up, man. And it's a powerful thing for a woman to stop doing that, for a man to stop doing that, man. You know. Go ahead, up. Well, that's right. Right here for the word impudent has stiff a forehead, man. That's right, hard headed, stiff, stiff and forehead, mm -hmm. hard headed, man. It's like when you know you get into it and you try to push that head mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. 
know, when you see two fighters about to fight and they put their foreheads together and both of them pushing, pushing the, uh, to push that person, they want to push the other way, man. That's how people are to the word of the father. Stiff forehead. Yeah, antagonistic. No man. matter, no matter, no matter how right it is, they don't want to hear it. That's right. Shoot, even within, even within, uh, you know, repenting and, and getting in the truth, man. Mm -hmm. That's so much stuff that you've got to build on that you didn't know that you had within yourself, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to tell that yourself, even within the truth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, how much more for a person that's not in the truth, man. So it's important for us to understand to, 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 uh, how how imperative for us to just be diligent about this work, man. We're, we're casting out strongholds, brothers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my, I got yeah. this one quick, just talking about doing the work. Mm -hmm. All right, Ephesians 4 and 1. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you're called. That's right, we gotta walk worthy of the vocation which we were called in, mm -hmm. man. What's our vocation, man? Mm -hmm. You know? We are the mouths of the most high. Job, so we have to be confident in that, man. Mm -hmm. And we have to be diligent. You know? And that takes humility, man. Because this is not an easy job. That's right. You're not going to give me clout or any money like that. You're doing this because you know the most high is real and this is right, man. That's right. And a lot of people out there that, you know, fell out, you know, from you know, dealing with one West and or whatever, they lost sight of that, man. And it's for themselves. So when they started, when they wasn't glorifying them anymore, or wasn't an advocation for them anymore, they left. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead. I'll yeah, it tells you, it's supposed to be humble right here. Verse 2. With all holiness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. So, long suffering, man. They, they were too dear. You know, it's, it's not a tough, it's not a tough thing, man. It's, it's easy just to go back into the world and just be uh, happy, I guess, for whatever, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. Being, you know, just basically just giving up. You know, people get tired of, people fall out because they get tired of being upset all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, just want to be happy. You know, which they don't really truly understand uh, what, what anger is for either, you know. That's a whole other topic. That was it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Get that for him. Uh, this is Ephesians uh, 6 and 12. Mm -hmm. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, mm -hmm. but against principalities. That's right. The thing is, we're, we're not fighting a physical war. We'll get out there and, and you know, shoot up you know, the other nations, Esau. Not yet, at least. Right now, we're dealing with the, the, the scriptures, man. You know? And, and, and really fighting against uh, demons, man. You know, you got to, it, it's not an easy thing. You know, you have to fight demons within yourself. You go up on another level, man. You know, you might be dealing with something that you never done, had to deal with. I never thought you had to deal with, man. You know, within, within, within that, you make yourself better. You have to still hold other brothers accountable and two thirds accountable by doing work. You know, so this is not a light thing, brothers. You know, you should really feel a sense of, uh, Pride that the brother, that the, that the Most High allowed you to be in this thing, man. You know, because he didn't have to choose you, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you know, brothers got to think about this in a positive light. Did you say you had something? Else? Yeah, Romans fifteen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Go ahead. Finish. Yeah, it's a little more of this. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, but against principalities, against powers. Against the rulers of against the darkness. Powers, man. Against the rulers of the darkness, man. Demons. Mm -hmm. Demons in high places, man. You know? We stand up for the truth, man. The things that we say, how can you negate? Unless you want to nitpick and, and, and uh, basically use semantics to make an uh, mm -hmm. argument. Well, bro, what can you say that we do? We, uh, uh, what, can you, what can you say that we say wrong? The white man is the devil, man. Two thirds of our people ain't right, and it's gonna take a high power for us to get out of the situation. That's basically what we're saying, and and you know what else we're saying? Come at her, our, my people. That makes perfect sense, man. You know, go ahead. Huh? Against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's right, spiritual wickedness in high places, man. It says in Job nine, what twenty four. 
Mm -hmm. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. It says that for a reason, man, because the wicked has basically put its vibration on the whole world, man. That's right. It has everybody under this, this uh, uh, trapped in the matrix, man. And one of the people that are on the planet Earth that say, hey, man, wake up. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Don't go that way. That, that way leads to destruction, man. And that's that's a beautiful task. You know? Yep, because that's that's what we constantly fighting against, man. The, the the world, man, because this world, man, is controlled by a, a wicked left hand power that the most high set up, man, mm -hmm. to, to, to punish Israel for going off, man. Sure. You know? So that's what we constantly fighting, that spiritual battle, man, with this word right now, man. That's how we going that's how we gonna cast down them strongholds until your house shot get back, man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, because uh, just like Noah, man, just imagine all the other prophets. Noah had to go all that time. The brothers do a couple months, a couple years, and be ready to fall. Just imagine how Noah felt. You know what I mean? Like he mm -hmm. went like a hundred and some years prophesying, telling, telling, telling Jake to wake up. Really, basically, they wasn't they wasn't actually uh, Israelites at that time, but he was basically trying to tell people, hey, look, y'all better stop because the Lord's gonna destroy y'all. You know what I mean? And we, this is another manifestation of this today in this time. And, and right now, right now we just we just doing the work that we can to the best of our ability that the Lord give us understanding to uh, to bring forth these scriptures to y'all, man. That's right. It's a silly and you know? Yep, yep. That's a good that's a good analogy that you brought up, Noah, because right now, uh, we, we we building up a spiritual art, man, and only the elect, they gonna gonna run to it, you know, and, and help build this thing up. To where when I mean, the Most High has it fully uh, built up, we're going to be able to go to that for refuge and hopefully we'll be delivered. The elect, it's, it is, we, the elect will be delivered. Mm -hmm. Lord willing, we part of the elect, the men, you know, that's out, you know, teaching the word, you that's know. Right. Lord willing, we can the word catalyst that before the elect can be sealed up, man. Uh -huh. You know, that's that's a beautiful task, you know. I know the brothers feel the same way, man. You know, we just want to be sincere in this thing as possible. And part of being, you know, helping a brother to be sincere is just understanding the severity of what we're doing, man, and how beautiful, you know, the task that we were given, man, you know? I know it's not a, a, a I know it's not a, you know, an easy thing to do, but it's, it's definitely worth it, man, because we're standing up for some brothers, you know? I wanted to get this uh, for the brother, um, just Jeremiah 28 and uh, 8, but actually I started seven. Uh, nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thy ears and in the ears of the people, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right. And that's the task that the Lord gave us, man. man. You know, to 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 go out and 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 judge the earth according to His law. You know, he said, and that's the power that we have against the wiles of the devil, Esau. Because we go out week in and week out, and we condemn the devil to his face in his own kingdom, man. Yeah? And that's what the prophets did beforehand. That's right. You know? Mm -hmm. and, but he's only going to deal with a certain men that are going to have the cojones to do that, man. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You got to be a man or a virtue. And you got to be a man in that, that uh, Take pride in what he does, man, and has discipline. Right, because 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 it deals your everyday walk, not just when you go out there and speak. That's real. You know, that we were talking about that the other day. How we all want to, what the, what the what the what the, what the, the prophet did, what the other did, mm -hmm. day to day. Yeah, that's yep. Yeah. You know, but guess what? They were deeply involved with the scriptures and they knew that they were in captivity. And they, they carried themselves as such with integrity according to the scriptures, man. And they dealt with 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 with, with, with uh uh brotherly love, you know, and things of that nature to, to to move forward in society, man. And and guess what? They back now doing the same thing that Jeremiah spoke about, you know, because the Lord dealt them with power. Through his word. Mm hmm. Can I get something for you? You don't mind? Go ahead. This is uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 4 and 9. 
For I think that the Most High has set forth us the apostles last, as it were approved to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. That's right. That's what, that's what we are. We made a spectacle to everybody, man. You know. You know, we, we gave in disregard to how we look to our family, friends, co-workers. You know. That's right, man. Put ourselves in harm's way to law enforcement, people on the streets. Right. And so we're a spectacle to everybody, man. That's why you, every now and then you see a brother on the world side hip hop. Brothers just sitting there reading out the Bible, telling the truth, and it became a spectacle, man. Mm -hmm. But guess what? It's going to happen more and more. Yeah. Even within your everyday life, man. Mm -hmm. You know, not having an edge up, that smaller nuance, man. It just it puts you out there. Mm -hmm. You know, you get to explain why you don't have it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That would lead into, man, what you mean to, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, what you mean? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. the same thing, like, with, with, when you're talking to regular people, you got to explain why you don't eat pork, mm -hmm. why you don't eat shrimp. Oh, you don't eat shrimp? They're looking at you like something wrong with you. Yeah. You really, a lot of times, it's like you got to limit the conversation with people because, you know, like, you really got to be, you got to be circumspect. You can't just tell everybody your business like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like, you know, being being a prophet, man, that, that's it's a, it's a big responsibility. You know, what we what we are part of is something that's gonna change history. Man. This is gonna re alter the whole history, the universe. You know, because of the work that we doing. That's right. Lord willing that we being diligent enough and found worthy enough of the Most High Sight. But you still got to be humble too. You can't just go, you know, think because you you out on the highways and byways that the Lord got to accept you. You don't got to accept you. That's right, man. But we do also know on one hand, like I said, in Hebrew 6, he's not unfaithful, not unjust to forget your works. So the works that we put in are very important. We are breaking down strongholds. We're doing everything that it takes to get this kingdom built back up. See, most people think you're just going to get an education, a job, you know, to get with Dr. Omar Johnson and build a, build a school or come with Dr. Claude Anderson, find the, uh, get with the... Uh, the black conscious community and come up with some type of economical plan. That ain't how the kingdom gonna get raised back up, man. That's not how we're gonna get out of the situation. The little shit of war. That's <laughs> right. Family pestilence, disease. Right. With pain. Right. Even before that, right? You gotta start set up a standard. Yeah. But that standard has to be set for a first uh for uh first. And if these people aren't beating our standard, that's when Jake is gonna start getting right up. We have a standard for ourselves, we're not going to accept everything, man. Right. And that's what you're seeing now. Jake has a standard, man. We start realizing we're somebody. Right. And the most high uses. That's that, man. That's, that's powerful, bro. Mm -hmm. You know? A standard, a standard being set in place, man. And that, that's, that that's standard is going to be, which is the scripture, is going to be the catalyst. That's going to, you know, eventually make Jake take this place over, bro. Ultimately, the Lord with the Lord come back too. You know, can't can't throw that. You know, can't negate that. You want me to finish, sweet bro? Nah.